Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at Italy, a chain of Italian markets that has locations all over the world. Now this location we'll be taking a look at is in the Park MGM in Las Vegas, Nevada. And as you can see from the Christmas tree, this was filmed in December 2019, so you're going to see a lot of Christmas decor and things around. Italy was founded in 2007 in Turin, Italy by a businessman named Oscar Farinetti. The first Italy location was opened there in Turin inside a closed vermouth factory, and from there they've just seemed to continue to expand all over the world. They currently have six locations in the United States and one in Canada, but they really are a worldwide chain. They've got locations in Japan, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Sweden, Germany, and of course they have 13 locations in Italy. And they currently have plans to expand to even more places like Abu Dhabi, Brussels, Hong Kong, Johannesburg. With all of these current and planned locations, I would have a really hard time calling Italy a small business. but. Apparently they think they are, but we'll get more into that later on in the video. This particular location is about 40,000 square feet, so they've got a lot of room to pack things in like wine and cheese and all the things that you would expect to see inside an Italian market. But it's interesting how they have everything organized. They have these little booths set up, like here's the bakery with just absolutely delicious looking stuff out. And then they'll have like a cheese counter, there's a butcher shop, and then also spread amongst those there's wine bars. Um, kind of quick service, uh, ready-made food things, you can get little pizzas and stuff like that. And then there's also uh, classes and things that they offer as well. We were really impressed with this place when we visited here in December 2019, and I'm going to show you all the cool and neat things that we saw. But then later on in the video, we're going to cover some stuff that's kind of soured me a little bit um, on Italy with some current news about them. I have to warn all of you, I am terrible at pronouncing Italian words. I feel like I sound like this. So if I mispronounce something, cut me a little bit of slack. Now this little section over here has all kinds of pastries as well as coffee and cappuccino and it's nice to see the uh, Lavazza brand instead of Illy. Usually these kind of things it's all Illy stuff. Here's a closer look at some of those pastries and we did sample some of them and they were absolutely delicious. Super rich but very good. Doesn't all of that look so good? I'm, I'm remembering how good it was now, now that I'm watching this footage. Now those are the biggest Nutella jars I've ever seen. I, I asked if I could buy one, but they didn't want to sell me one, which makes sense. They're probably just empty displays. Here's a closer look at some of their grocery items. You can see we've got a lot of different varieties of canned and jarred whole tomatoes and chopped tomatoes. I really wish I would have brought a bigger piece of luggage with me to Las Vegas because I probably would have brought some of this stuff home with me. It looks really good. It's kind of eerie watching this footage now knowing that this location is closed due to the current pandemic situation. But this is the only Italy location that's closed because everything in downtown Las Vegas is shut down. But all the other locations are still open for grocery pickup and things like that. But their ready-made food portions are shut down. Man, I bet those pizza ovens cost a fortune. There were a lot of amazing smells in this place, and those pizza ovens were definitely responsible for a lot of it. Here's the mozzarella bar, because of course an Italian market has to have a mozzarella bar. But here's what's interesting about these different booths and, and bars and things they have is that one side of them usually has some uh, pre-made food that you can get them just to heat up for you. For example, you can see some paninis there in the case and then some salads as well so you can eat while you shop. And they even have a little spot here where you can see them making their fresh mozzarella with a little step-by-step -step guide there. One of the things I think that's kind of cool about Italy is all of the cooking classes that they offer and making mozzarella cheese is one of the classes that they offer. From what I've heard, making fresh mozzarella cheese at home isn't that hard, so I should give it a shot. Now here's the cheesemonger booth, probably my favorite because I have very, very strong feelings for cheese. Wonder if the stuff hanging up here is actually real or if it's just display pieces. Man, look at all of that cheese. You know, I didn't know when I was growing up that being a cheesemonger was an actual career. I, I may have picked the wrong career path in life. They've also got some Italian meat and cheese sampler boards there as well. 
There's a little uh, pizzeria, La Pizzeria, I'm guessing that's how you say that. We actually got something from there as well. This booth, this butcher here, I would have loved to have gotten something from because the steaks just looked amazing, albeit kind of expensive. And I love the display case as well. I just, I love the theming of this whole place, but look at all of those steaks. Especially the uh, dry aged one there. That just looks amazing. But being a tourist in Vegas, I, I don't know what you would do with raw meat in your hotel room. Or at least I don't want to know what you would do. You can see there in the background uh, the casino, which is kind of a weird thing to see in an Italian market. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video, Mark and I did sample some of the food, so let's take a look at what we got. <laughs> Very excited for this right now. Hell yeah. Hold on, let's get the uh, right mood music going for this. Aw, oh, yeah. This was one of the best pieces of like pizza bread that I've ever had in my life. Let's let's get a closer look at some of the herbs there. And then here is one of those sampler boards. You can see some prosciutto there, some fresh mozzarella cheese, some other cheeses that I can't pronounce the name of. Got some uh, mortadello there. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. I don't even really like olives, and those were even fantastic. If you come to Italy, definitely get the sampler board. All in all, I have to say I really did enjoy my trip to Italy back in December. Although I have to say there has been some recent news that has put a pretty sour taste in my mouth when it comes to Italy. As I'm sure you're aware, small businesses are having a really hard time right now. And the federal government put forth something called the Payroll Protection Program, which was meant for small businesses to be able to get loans to keep people on payroll. Well, it turns out for some reason or another, a lot of big companies ended up getting those loans and kind of depleting the fund and screwing over small businesses. And it turns out Italy is one of those companies. Those loans were meant for small businesses, businesses with 500 employees or less. From what I understand, each of the Italy locations has between four and 700 employees. So I don't understand how they think they're a small business or how they even got away with getting approved for the payroll protection program loans. During a recent interview right before the pandemic started, uh, Italy was being asked questions about how they were going to fund their expansion, and they said, I quote, Italy does not need to rake up pennies on the market. It's able to finance its growth easily with its cash flow. Well, it sounds to me an awful lot like they've uh, raked some pennies out of small business owners' pockets, unfortunately, and really screwed them over. So. I have a hard time recommending this place. Maybe they'll give the loan money back. I know places like Shake Shack and Ruth's Chris Steakhouse have done that where they took loans but then got called out on it and gave it back. So hopefully Italy does the right thing. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tour of Italy. Thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retail archaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my video on Italy. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you've got a few minutes, check out one of these other videos I have here. Lastly, make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.